Ever feel like starting a business is only for the rich or those with fancy degrees? Think again. I've got 10 amazing business ideas that require little to no money. And some can get you cash this month. These aren't just ideas. They are practical, actionable ways to earn an income without needing a huge budget. And if you like content like this, where I give you the real stuff, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell. I promise you these ideas could change your life and you don't want to miss any future uploads. So for the first idea, freelance writing. Freelance writing is one of the easiest ways to start making money with no investment. If you can write emails, social media captions or even basic articles, you are good to go. Businesses, websites, and influencers need content every day. They don't always have the time or the skill to write it themselves. That's where you come in. Now, the question is where do you find clients, right? Well, you can join platforms like Upwork, Fiverr, and even LinkedIn. So on this platform, you can pitch your services to bloggers or even small business owners. Another way to find clients is by pitching your services to bloggers or small business owners in your network. Also, you can join Facebook or WhatsApp groups related to writing or small business. Many people post writing gigs there. Now, let me give you a practical tip. Write two or three articles on trending topics as samples to build a portfolio. You could offer your first gig for a small fee just to get some testimonials you know once you get the ball rolling you can charge premium rates earning up to at least 50 to 100k per client each month idea number two social media management let's be real businesses need to be on social media but most of them don't know how to handle it if you understand how social media, Facebook or LinkedIn works, or even Twitter, you can you can actually help businesses grow their presence online and also get paid for it. So what you'll be doing for them is pretty easy. You create engaging posts and reels, you manage their comments and messages, and also you analyze what's working and adjust your strategy. It's as simple as that. So that way you are managing social media accounts for these businesses. So oftentimes the question is how do you start? How do I start? Now all you need to do is reach out to small businesses, especially local ones, offer a free trial or a discount for your first month to showcase your value. Once they see the results, like more engagement or even new customers, they will be happy to pay you every month. There are so many local businesses around you there that actually need your social media services. What one thing you can do is that you can approach them and then talk to them about these options which i've mentioned use free tools like canva for creating graphics and also buffer or later to schedule your posts you don't need fancy software to look professional if these ideas are clicking so far go ahead and subscribe you'll get more content like this every week and trust me you don't want to miss what's coming next so to my idea number three is drop shipping. Drop shipping is a game changer because you don't need to hold any inventory. You promote products online and the suppliers handles everything from packaging to delivery. All you just do is promote the product. The supplier will handle everything that has to do with packaging and also the delivery. Getting started is not hard at all. So all you just need to do is create a store using Shopify or WooCommerce. I'm going to put links in the comment section below. All you need to do is to create a store using Shopify or WooCommerce, find a supplier and aliexpress or spocket and then you promote these products through social media or google ads so i'll give you an example of a guy i know who sold phone accessories through dropshipping he invested nothing in inventory but used his free time to market the product in fact in his first month he made 80k profit from a few targeted ads now to my fourth idea virtual assistant services you see being a virtual assistant is perfect if you're organized and good at multitasking not everybody is good at multitasking Multitasking, so you might want to make sure that you are very good at multitasking and you are very very organized you will help businesses with uh, tasks like email management scheduling and data entry all from the comfort of your home now the question is where do you find uh, virtual assistant gigs you can sign up on platforms like Upwork, Fiverr, People Per Hour and so on and so forth you can also join small business communities and offer your services you can reach out to coaches or consultants they often need assistance so you can offer your virtual assistant um, service uh, you want to make sure that you are not too pricey so that you can get uh, as many clients as possible now a pro tip for you is that you start small by offering a few hours a week then grow your client base over time as demand increases you can charge higher rates and even hire other VAs to work with you 
Now to idea number 5, print on demand, I usually like to call this POD. Print on demand is a fantastic way to earn passive income. You design t-shirts, mugs or notebooks and platforms like Teespring and Printify can actually help you to undo all your printing and shipping. Now this works pretty easily, you just have to create simple designs using Canva, Canva is free for you to use. Upload the design to a POD platform and then promote your store through social media or email marketing. So for for instance, I know someone who launched a, a t-shirt uh, line with funny quotes. Within two weeks, she made her first sale and her business has been growing ever since. You know, all she just put there was quotes, just quotes, funny quotes. Now, idea number six, affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is one of the easiest ways to earn passive income. You promote a product and when someone buys through your referral link, you earn a commission. It's pretty easy. I explained this in one of my videos, so I'm going to link to the video in the comment section. Now, how do you get started? Join an affiliate program on Amazon, Jumia, Konga, Clickbank, what have you. There are so many of them. Just Google. You are just one Google search away. Just Google them and then you are going to find a lot of them. Then promote products that you already use I, I would advise that you don't promote a product that you're not familiar with even if you have not used a product before make sure that you do you do your due diligence to make sure that the product is actually good and has very good rating now also you can share your links on social media whatsapp and on your blog if you have one just to make sure that a lot of people get to know about um, your offering okay and then you can get people to click on your links and eventually get um, conversions through that now a pro tip for you choose products that solve problems or meet people's needs the more relevant the product the easier it is to promote make sure that the product is relevant so that you can promote it more easily so if you are yet to subscribe please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't there's a lot more from where this came plus subscribing means you will always be one of the first to get these tips thanks for subscribing now let's move on to the next business idea start a youtube channel whether faceless or low investment you see, starting a YouTube channel is one of the smartest ways to create long-term passive income. And guess what? You don't even need expensive equipment or a big budget to get started. So why does starting a YouTube channel work? Once your videos start getting views, YouTube pays you through ads. But it doesn't stop there, as you already know. You can also make money from affiliate links, sponsorship deals, or even selling your own product or service through your channel. So you can see that it's a win-win for you. Now the question is how do you start a channel with no fancy gears? Because oftentimes people always ask, eh, do I need uh, I need to get a very good camera, I need to do this, I need to do that, yada yada yada. Now that is not the point. The point is this, you don't need to uh, do anything fancy when starting out, you just need to start. That is the problem with most people, they just want to make sure that everything is sorted out before they get started. However, that is not how it's supposed to be. You're supposed to start and then along the line you learn. Now, how do you get started uh, with a channel with no fancy gear? All you need is this. You need a phone camera which is enough for what you want to do. Don't wait to get an expensive microphone or an expensive camera. Your smartphone is more than enough to shoot your video. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to pick a niche you love. So, are you into tech? Do reviews. Love cooking? Start a recipe channel. The key is to pick a niche you are passionate about. This will help you to stay consistent. You get the idea, right? Make content ideas for beginners, like faceless content, tutorials, storytelling, or motivational videos. Uh, do product reviews, like unboxing, product comparisons, and so on and so forth. Also, you can do how-to videos, like quick solutions to common problems. I'm sure you must have seen uh, a lot of these videos online. And lastly there, you can actually edit your videos using free tools like uh, CapCut or iMovie. CapCut is free, even this video you are watching uh, was edited with CapCut. So the whole idea is for you to be consistent because YouTube rewards consistency. Start with one video a week and don't be discouraged even if it takes time to grow. Everyone starts from zero. To the eighth business idea, create and sell online courses or coaching services. If you've got knowledge or experience in any field, whether it's cooking, marketing or fitness, you can monetize it by creating an online course or offering coaching services. All you just need to do is pick a skill you can teach, you can think about something you are good at, maybe public speaking, cooking or social media marketing, then use free tools to get started. You don't need any fancy equipment. 
record with your own phone and use tools like zoom for live coaching or teachable to host your course at least for a start to attract your first uh, uh, few clients you might want to offer free sessions or webinars to build credibility you know that way you are going to have a uh, one-on-one -on -one relationship with your with your client or with your uh, student that way you are going to be able to build your clientele now i have an example of someone that uh, started offering instagram growth coaching for free at first so within two months she had enough positive reviews to charge clients 50 keeper session now she coaches people from all over the world you know these days it's a lot easier to actually start a business so you see you don't have to be an expert if you are even one step ahead of someone else you can coach them people pay for clarity and guidance these days so I'm saying know your worth and get started now to the ninth business idea start an errand or concierge business this is one of the most practical business ideas and it is perfect if you have some free time errand services are in high demand especially in cities where people are too busy to handle basic tasks some of the things that you can offer services include grocery shopping and delivery you can offer pickups and drop-offs for instance like laundry packages yada 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 and then you can offer paying bills and handling small tasks for busy professionals so um, it's easy to get started because all you just need to do is promote your services through whatsapp or neighborhood groups you can start with people you know like friends your neighbors or local businesses and you can offer a discounted rate or a free trial for first-time clients again I know someone who started this business uh, it was not even a professional when he started it was not very skilled but he was running errands for professionals and lucky she started small by offering grocery delivery to a few families now she runs a full-time concierge service charging premium fees if you're reliable and build trust with your clients this business can grow quickly through word of mouth you don't really need uh, so much marketing and lastly to the 10th business idea launch a small cleaning service last but not least starting a cleaning service is one of the easiest ways to earn money with little upfront investment and trust me cleaning services are always in demand whether it's homes offices or airbnb properties getting started is not hard at all and in fact you don't even require money to get started now the first thing you need to know is that you need to start small you don't need to have a team to start just you and basic cleaning supplies like detergent mops and and buckets uh, another thing which you need to know is that you need to offer your services locally focus on your neighbors local offices or airbnb who need regular cleaning and also promote yourself using whatsapp social media or even flyers that you can share with people around and the third thing which you need to know is price your services right you can try to offer affordable rates to attract your first clients once you have layer customers you can increase your fees or offer premium packages like someone i know who started this business with just two clients uh, but expanded to clean Airbnb apartments across town. Uh, he now has a team working under him and he is pulling in over 300k monthly so enough to pay the people working with him and then he doesn't really have to do the work these days. So always do an excellent job. Clean is a word of mouth business. Once people uh, love what you do, once people are satisfied with your service, they are always going to recommend you. And you know word of mouth is still one of the best form of marketing because it's free so if your clients are happy they will always tell others about you you get the idea so these are the 10 business ideas you can start with little or no money the beauty of these ideas is that you don't need huge capital just a little creativity effort and consistency is all you need now here is a real question which idea speaks to you don't just sit there thinking about it you just need to start today i will always tell you that every time whether it's freelance writing drop shipping or errand services or even youtube channel the best time to start is now and remember don't try to do all 10 at once just be cool and focus on it and give it your best shot for at least three months success loves consistency if you put your hands into everything at once you are going to end up doing nothing most likely so if you enjoyed this video and found it valuable hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on future videos like this also drop a comment below what business are you planning to start or if you already started one what challenges are you facing i'd love to hear from you and help out so lastly don't forget the journey to financial freedom begins with just one step take that step today no matter how small it seems you've got this and i believe in you until next time stay focused stay consistent and keep hustling see ya and bye bye.